Hello everyone down there here from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 A to Z Kaiser Redux Edition where today we are playing as the wonderful, wonderful Albania and we're going to form one of the cursed things ever in this mod, Albania Brazil. Yep, that's right, we get Annex Brazil and get cores on it. It's so ridiculous and I can't wait to read the event for it but uh, yeah. Got a little bit of work to do. I'm hoping to take over the Balkans, maybe slap the Austrians, um, and I don't know, maybe the Ottomans as well. I guess. I guess we'll see what we get up to, as long as Italy doesn't try to invade us. But I think we should be relatively safe from that happening. So we do have a little wait before the elections take place. We kind of need them to happen first before we can go ahead and get King Zog, who is obviously who we're going for. There's no other routes to choose but that one, really. That is just who doesn't love King Zog. Uh, so basically. Our elections take place in June, and then we need to choose the progressives, do resist land reforms, do not do this focus, we, we're not allowed to take this. Um, so taking this and not taking this causes an event to fire and basically King Zog goes the government and then makes himself uh, king. So we've got that to look forward to. I think for the meantime we'll, um, I guess we'll just grab some military research and stuff. Um, obviously we'll have to deal with black... Monday at some point as well. Hopefully that doesn't hit the nation too hard like it always seems to do. Okay, Black Monday has hit. And say goodbye to stability, construction speed, production efficiency cap, and factory output. That is... That's not good. It's election time and of course only one party is winning. The Progressive Party. Uh, now this is not really a good thing for the people of Albania, but it's a good thing for us in terms of what we're wanting to achieve today. So say goodbye to our stability, there is riots happening within the nation. Uh, yes, we are balancing the budget which has slightly reduced the effects of Black Monday. We can go ahead and do banking reform now which further modifies it slightly by bringing down the factory. Well, bring up, sorry, the factory output and the construction speed. The banking reform has now taken place, so yeah, Black Monday's looking a lot better. So we'll continue the work down this part of the focus tree whilst we wait for Zog to make his appearance. Uh oh, it's happened. An attempted assassination on Verlassi. So we could have the wrong vehicles hit. Or Albania point two seven point B. I'm guessing that's the second option. He needs to die. Oh no, Verlassi has been killed. Now we can have the social conservatives take over and we gain political coup, or we can have Zogu performs a counter coup, and damn right that's happening. There he is, looking fabulous, look at that moustache. What's not to love? Now we get the choice. Will Albanian President Amit Zogu stay as, you know, just a president? Damn right he won't. Time to announce himself as King Zog the First. Here we go, long live the king. Zog will become the king of Albania. There he is in his royal attire. Do you know what? I'm going to continue to delegate authority. Let's become an authoritarian democracy. So currency reform is probably one of our best focuses. We gain four building slots, two civvies and two military factories and we get rid of a Black Monday. Well it's uh, a little bit of discontent in the, in the Austrian Empire's sphere of influence in the Balkans. Hungary's revolted, of course they, they are looking like they're going to lose very, very quickly. Would you look at that, the Belgrade Pact has formed as well. We are kind of gearing up for war. Uh, we're going to announce our support for Bulgaria. We're going to help them in their time of need. Oh my days, I've just noticed we now have Zog as an actual field marshal. He is terrible in comparison to Gustav von Merdax. I probably pronounced that incorrectly, but... He's much better. Okay, so we can join in. Uh, we do have 20 combat with divisions. The only issue being we currently are 25k short. But uh, I'll often rely to our to our good old neighbours. Oh, nice. Great. They peed off. Oh, okay. They don't want us anyways. Well, that's fine by me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my days. The Latin Union's formed. Yes, Spain. Because that seems like a totally sensible idea. So France has currently got 25 to 101 divisions, Spain has a, th wow, 13 to 35, and France has 6 to 24. 
Uh, well, well done. You're you're dead. Oh, oh, oh! That could actually work out for us. We want our claimed lands back first. Come on. Oh, you. Ah, brilliant. Socialist victory in Russia. That's oh, Bukharin. The Russian Socialist Republic is here. So this this is the event. I I need to, I need to read this. So the lands of Greater Albania firmly within our hands. That's not the case. King Zog, the heir of Skaderbeg, and the rightful sovereign of all Albanians, now sits atop a reg real throne with pride in his heart, knowing that he's truly brought greatness to his subjects. Albanian people rejoice for their life, prosperous lives. Uh, the Golden Age, King Zog, is ushered in. Our nation, our armies, and our peoples are more prideful than ever before, and yet there exists a small hole in King Zog's heart. The void of one last unfulfilled desire. Far across the Med and past the stormy Atlantic lies a tropical paradise of Brazil, a chaotic but wondrous land that has been the fixation for our glorious king for quite some time. I lusted after this verdant patch since before his coronation. Um. Okay, so basically, King Zog just likes Brazil, and for some reason, a baffling lyrical error has um, caused us to annex Brazil. But we're now the Kingdom of Albania, Brazil. Wow, holy crap, that is cursed. Not the cleanest and nicest looking borders, but the Danuban Federations here. Oh, can the second Velcroy come so I can actually invade Serbia? and Romania. Because once I've dealt with them, I might then invade Bulgaria, and then once I've dealt with them, I might just invade the Ottomans. And once I've finished with the Ottomans, I might as well just invade the Entente and take out Greece. Because the Entente is pathetically weak anyways. Oh, finally! That's, we finally got the foreign policy tree. An alliance offer. Oh my days, I could, I, I could invite Romania. Oh my days, that would be super cursed. Oh, oh, no, that's not an alliance. That's not an alliance. That's just a blinking guarantee. That does nothing. Oh, my days are all coming. We didn't even move forward. Well, surely they're going to be aggressive, actually. Go for it. And there's the Alzass ultimatum coming in. There he is. War has broken out. Sadly, Bulgaria has joined the Reichspact, so I don't think we're going to be invading them as such, but we'll see. Why have they just abandoned the front? Are they at war with someone else? No, what the hell are they doing? And how have we got three million manpower just sitting there? We're just kind of walking through them now. I, I don't quite know what's happened here. Oh, I've just noticed we've, we've cut Belgrade off. We've, we've actually cut Belgrade off. That, that couldn't be any more beneficial for us. The only issue is we are still going to have to take out Romania. But that should... Yeah, there goes Serbia. Oh my days, the mistake has been made. Potentially. Oh my days, it has. And away we go. Nope, just get into them. The rest of the visions are on their way. There we go. Fantastic victory. Ah yes, let's liberate Romania in its entirety. We shall liberate... Do we liberate Serbia? Nah, do you know what? I'm just going to stay as Serbia. Yeah, I, I quite like that. Yeah, sorry, Bulgaria refused to work with me earlier, so they can they can kiss my backside if they think they're getting any territory from me. Sorry, Austria. Uh, what have I done to offend you, sir? You seem to be chilling on my borders quite a lot there. The Mensheviks internationalists have united Russia. Oh, nice. That's, that's a beautiful border over there. Are you actually going to get involved in the conflict? Oh, finally. It's about blinking time that kicked off that front. Well, we're a little bit underprepared for this. We've got plenty of guns. We're short of artillery and support equipment, but I'm hoping we'll be able to rectify that once we've got things going. Hey, we're not actually going to push. We're, we're just going to sit and let the Austrians push us. Oh, this is going to be a great plan. It's going to be such a great plan to kill off their manpower. Uh, the only issue we're facing is them bombing the absolute living daylights of everything, so I think I'm going to have to sacrifice my air force and try my best to uh, counteract their... Uh, oh my days, we'd actually... Oh, we do. To try and counteract. We're just going to go into interception, see if we can just 
cause the bombers to disappear. Okay, thankfully we've managed to get the steel that we require by trading with Ukraine. Luckily that is helping us out. I might have to put... Oh, where am I going to get my rubber from? We have minus 34. We need 6 for that. Can I say I'm 0? Nice. Okay, we've got the rubber we need as well. Oh, mama! Germany! Oh my god. Yes. Yes, come on. Germany, are you at war with Austria? You're not at war with them yet. The, the only issue I really have with Germany joining this war is they're already at war with the international, so they're not going to be able to probably give us as much support as we would probably like to have. Okay, we're quickly creating what I've called the Romanian Defence Force. It's just mainly infantry, in fact. It's just infantry with artillery. I'm just going to use them to try and hold some of Romania, if at all possible. Things are going okay over here. I'll continue to sign non-aggression packs. Uh, we're trying to get a kind of front set up that uses that river line. And probably, the, probably this kind of... But the front that we're going to have now, yeah, that's better there. So I believe the one thing we're not really able to pierce at this current time is the tanks very well, which is completely understandable because I don't really have any tank in any of my divisions whatsoever, and we have no tanks of our own to counteract their tanks. So I'm really just moving to kind of encircle the ones that they do have, and that way eliminate them. To be totally honest with you guys, we are actually rapidly approaching Vienna. Like, it's, it's not out of, like, out of reach at this moment in time. Budapest is right there, which is obviously going to do some damage. We, we are knocking on Vienna's door. We are knocking on the door of Vienna. The fall of Vienna's brought them down to about halfway. Prague's now the capital. Um, we would be lucky if Poland weren't in. We'd be able to push up and hope, for, like, do a, a cutoff. Completely cut off their divisions that are pushing into Ukraine, but... Sadly, that's not what we got here. Ah, Germany lost to Japan. They've accepted a peace deal. I think that was probably the wisest thing for them to do. Uh, they were at war with a lot of nations. Well, I can't complain. We're, we're pushing through. Uh, we've actually secured the territories of Italy that Austria actually holds of the Danube Federation. Um, just trying to work my way up and just help the Germans. I actually link up with the Germans. That would be ideal. Oh, we've linked up with our German friends. Happy days. Oh my god, I didn't realise that was on the map. I think we're witnessing the end of the Danube Federation. We did just take Prague, but it looks like we have just instantly re-lost it. Oh, it's a wonderful encirclement in the mountains. Somehow it's still considered to be... Oh, it's open! It is open! Oh, nope, it's gone. There we go. That's fine. How are the 18 divisions... Actually, it's not even 18. Oh, that's hilarious at how well they're pushing. Don't get too carried away, Dun, but... They're just doing so well. Prague is the capital. It's all we're probably missing, to be honest. It's probably what we're missing. What what else is a noteworthy city that needs to be taken? Not that I'm saying any of the cities that are left or towns are not nice places, but in terms of pointage for us, I think we're relatively... Oh, we just need someone to intercept you. Yes! Yes! That is a win. I think that's fair. Ukraine got Chelm, and Poland went to Germany. Uh, the rest of the nation, well, actually, all the Danube Federation, Slovenia, and Krakow went to me. So we're pretty damn thick. Okay, so this is how it, it looks. Um, for some reason, I can't give this land to Galicia Lodomeria, so, yep. That, that's the hideous border bit. Uh, Czechoslovakia's here. Why not have them as a big strong puppet? Hungary's tiny. Um, Karl's in charge of both countries. Uh, Venice is here. In the Great Council. Do you have a tree? Cool. Uh, Romania's obviously chonky and thick. Uh, we've actually taken all the Yugoslavian lands because I thought, well, why not? If only I could create Yugoslavia. Uh, I think I'm going to join up with the Reichspack now, and I'm going to take on the, um, well, the Third International, which probably might be a death sentence, but, uh, ah, what's the worst that could happen?